order to have an amazing life, you must answer four questions. If you pay attention, you will be able to walk through any walls. Most people don't see the walls. What are the walls? Your thoughts, your feelings. Why do you stop yourself? How do you stop yourself? Do you even know that you do? Pay attention and learn and you will see. So what is luck? Do you have it? Can you get it? Will your lives be better when you're lucky? When good things happen to you, are you lucky or is it random circumstance? It's said that luck happens when preparation meets opportunity. Are you prepared for success? Are you open for opportunities? Do you have excellent mindset and habits? Do you have integrity and do what you say? Then you may just be lucky and can create good things in your life. Do you believe in luck? Herb, uh, yes, I, I believe in, in luck. I, I think you need to be positioned and, and ready to capitalize on your, your luck, but I do believe in luck. I absolutely do believe in luck. I feel it's right time, right place, and then just a little bit of pixie dust will help. <laughs> Well, but the short answer is yes, but the, the more important uh, follow-up question is how do we define luck? You know, so um, is, is luck a coincidence? You, you know, is, is there attraction that's involved in it? I mean, I believe you make your own luck. Uh, you, uh, you put yourself in the position where luck can happen. You know, yeah, I could be lucky and win the lottery, but I've got to be playing it in order to, you know, in order to win it. Um, and if I um, and I've found myself that I'm very very lucky in certain parts of my life, and I realize I'm, the areas that I'm lucky are probably the areas I'm working the hardest at. Not that I'm putting necessarily the most energy, but I'm making a very concerted effort to be active in that area, very engaged in that area, and then I seem to get awfully lucky in those areas. You know. I do believe in luck, um, but I definitely think that the harder you work, the luckier you get. So you play a role in how lucky you are in this world. I believe in luck because luck believes in me. Luck is when success and opportunity and ambition all meet. It doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't fall out of the sky, but it, but it is cataclysmic. When you set out to do something, you put all your forces behind it, you achieve the goal, the, the forces of the universe come together in a line, that's luck. So, I don't know, the word luck is, it becomes an excuse. Uh, so I don't use that word, I'll say, oh, good luck, you know, just throw it out there, but it means nothing to me. Uh, I believe everything is about putting yourself either in a position to make things happen, to accept something, to move forward, to, just go out and get it. I mean, do I believe in luck? I think um, it's, pro it's probably more about, you know, moving toward what you really want in life and kind of in envisioning it. And then somehow, the more you're connected to that, the more you're in the right place at the right time. No. Okay. I don't believe in luck, I, but I, I believe that you know preparation with attitude and opportunity with action puts a person in a position to produce luck, we'll call it. Right. So good things can happen when they do that? Correct. Okay. So I don't believe that things just happen by accident. I think things must be intentional. And I think uh, if you want to call it luck, it's when, as one writer says, it's when opportunity and preparation meet, right? That's, that's luck. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I have a yes and a no answer. I'm sorry, I wish I could make it one or the other, but it's not that simple. I do believe in luck, but in one case only, in birth. That's the card you draw. That's the, you know, I was born, I was born lucky, genetically lucky. I have no physical handicaps. I don't have a mental handicap. I was also born in the United States where I'm allowed to read. I can get an education. I'm allowed mobility. I can turn on the tap and I have potable water. I don't have to spend three days looking to find it. 
and I don't have to worry about being fed. So I'm very lucky in that way. Then the second half, what we do with it, no, that's all up to us. You can have every card in your hand. You can have a great family with upward mobility and a great education. And if your mind is negative or you don't know how to focus your energy, you can squander all that you've been given by birth. So the second part of our life is what we do with it. Every day you wake up, go to a job you don't like for not enough pay to really live your life. Stuck in your shell, behind your walls, why not take your shot and just go for it and really live your dream life? The whole process of making a film, following your dreams, and living your vision to bring it to the world. Everyone is so busy making their living and paying their bills. First it's getting their attention then telling your story. So it's enrolling and they become part of your vision and creating your dream. No one ever said it was easy. Nothing great was ever easy. Here's the secret. If it's to be and you can see it, you can create it. So who am I and why am I in a lobster suit? Good question. We showed you the first seven minutes of our 42 minute film Pay Attention. You learned about luck. Our experts, authors, and entrepreneurs have much more wisdom and three more questions to answer. The answers to the law of attraction, how to create success, and learn to live your dreams. We cannot tell you all of that in just 10 minutes, so we want to co-create this with you. If you're super successful, want a movie platform, and can answer this question, how did I become successful in life and in business by paying attention? We got this far as an author and a filmmaker. Just imagine where we can go with you and your team. And remember, pay attention.